Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. I am new to vlogging, new to YouTube, so bear with me. Um, yeah, I I never thought about doing this before, but um, I had a few people encourage me to try this out. So here we go. Uh, this video is going to be somewhat short, so I'm just going to go over a few things about myself and um, see what everybody thinks. So yeah, uh, I am your everyday, average, average everyday wife and mother. Um, nothing special. I mean, my husband may tell you I'm the most wonderful woman in the world, in the world, and I'm the most beautiful woman. You know what? That's in his eyes. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I have been married to that wonderful man for over 13 years. Um, his name is Ian. We've known each other basically since we were kids. We grew up together, um, went to the same church. We, we were two years apart in school. We were involved in a lot of stuff together. Well, we dated in high school. It didn't work out. He was two years ahead of me. Things didn't work out. So we were apart. Things happened. Got back together. And now we're happily married. So, uh, yeah, I, I will go over that. That whole There's a story behind all of that that I will save for another video. Anyway, so um, we have four beautiful children, one of which is from um, another relationship. But my husband has embraced him, and he has raised my son as his own. And we had three more together. Um, so our oldest, he uh, Joey, he's 16. And he thinks he's grown. <laughs> but honestly, he's a really good kid. Uh, then we have our daughter, Layla, who's 12. We have two younger boys, Curtis, who's 9, and Cole, who is 7. And um, that is our little family here. Um, we live in a beautiful small town in Illinois. It is a very rural community. We have less than 5,000 people. There's fields all around us. Um, we see tractors pretty much daily in the summertime. You can't go anywhere on the outskirts of town without seeing a tractor in the field or you see a farmer. But it just is a reminder of our simple way of life around here. Another thing I love about living in this small town is we, pretty much anywhere you live, you're near a school, um, or a playground. We live across the street from the elementary school. It is a wonderful thing. And some people may say, oh, can you, do you, you know, how do you deal with all the traffic and the kids making noise? You know what? There's traffic in the morning and in the afternoon. In the middle of the day, it's quiet. I love it. And it's convenient. Um... And we know all the teachers and everybody, we're all, we're a close-knit community. So, it's beautiful. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I grew up here, my husband grew up here, and we're raising our family here. Um, I know that's not the way other, some other people may have it. Some people may swear by living in the city. You know, having everything there, having uh, mass transit, uh, you know, things so you don't have to drive your car. But, I don't mind. I mean, we can walk. A lot of places here so um, uh, or bike ride my kids love to ride their bikes so yeah uh, that's a little bit about myself and where we live um, I started out as a mother at a young age I was 17 um, like I said that that's another the story for another video but um, I had it rough I had to learn a lot in a short amount of time to be a mother um, but I have my family to thank for that and I've learned a lot from the elders of my family per se my grandparents helped me a lot my parents helped me a lot but uh, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents growing up and I'm very close with my maternal grandmother so I have received a lot of advice and heard a lot of stories from my grandparents that I have carried on to into my um, adulthood and I felt that I needed to not only hold on to those things but share them and I've shared them with people around me but I felt there is a lot of 
good values and morals in some of this advice and these stories that you just don't hear. You don't hear stuff very often anymore about, you know, the way, the way things were back then. I mean, you might hear some person, some old person telling a story and, and I watch the younger generation listening like they don't even listen. They, they sit there like, who's this crazy old man telling a story? I don't want to hear this. But I think they need to hear it. A lot of people need to hear it. And even people my generation, I see uh, a lot of people my age ignoring the older generation and thinking they're crazy. You get this idea in your head that once you are an adult, you're supposed to know everything. And that's just not true. I didn't know anything. I mean, I knew how to change a diaper. I knew how to hold a baby. I had to learn a lot when I was 17 having a child. I mean, granted, I was a couple months from turning 18 and I was getting ready to graduate early from high school, but I still didn't know. And, and even when I had my daughter a few years later after I was married, happily married, and then I had my daughter, I still didn't know everything there was and, and I, I don't even, I'm, I'll be honest there's some things I still am learning at 34 years old on how to be a parent uh, a wife you know taking care of my house and my finances uh there's a story I'll tell later about we just actually met with a financial advisor <laughs> because we just really we realized we weren't planning for the future very well and we needed help so I think it's almost my duty, my obligation to make sure some of this information is passed along for those who just don't know or are oblivious or maybe a little naive to things going on in the world these days that you need to prepare for, um, as well as just the simple things, raising a family, raising children, um, teaching your children how to grow up and be good citizens of this country and hopefully maybe you know I should say hopefully but maybe someday they will be leaders of this country and you want them to have good values instilled in them that will maybe spill over into someone else and, and we can still have a good way of life Anyway, listen to me ramble on. I just get up on my little pedestal and I get going. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of the other reasons is I, was t I talk about my kids all the time and I talk about my family. I'm, I love my family to death. I really do. And I'm married into a great family. I love them all. But my kids have been encouraging me, Mom, you should do a vlog. You need to make videos. You need a YouTube channel. You need to share all this stuff you've learned over the years and uh, with other people because you could be so helpful. And they said, oh, and we'd love to watch your videos too. And they think it would just be so cool if I was some internet sensation. I really could care less if five people watch my video. But if I help just one person, one person, I will feel so good knowing that I helped somebody have a better life. I mean, listen to me, I'm like preaching like I'm some um, expert. I'm not. <laughs> I just take what I've learned throughout the years and I try to pass it along. If it helps you, great. If not, you know, throw it out the window. I don't care. So anyway, so yeah, I thought, you know, I'd been caring for other children, caring for my own for so long. You know, when I was a teenager I babysat and then I thought you know in my child care I don't know if a lot of you know but when you run uh, when you have a home daycare or you're any child care provider what that's licensed you are required by well I know in Illinois you're required by the state of Illinois to um, take classes Every year, you have to have what they call 15 credit hours. Well, it might be more now. But when I was, years ago, I had to have 15. So they require you to keep up on your education. So you're not just winging it. Um, you get a little bit of help in learning how to care for children. So say you wanted to help care for children with special needs, which I did. And um, I learned a little bit about that myself. And that helped me 
I had no idea how much it was going to help me, but it did. Um, but that opened my eyes and broadened my horizons. And um, I have to say, it, it helped me to embrace my nephew, which <laughs> he is just, I tell you what, we love him. My my nephew, um, I won't talk too much about him, but he has Down syndrome. And um, I tell you what, though, unless you were to look close at him and watch, you can... You can't really tell. I mean, for me, I don't, I don't notice that m anymore with him unless somebody asks or brings it up. He's just a little kid. I mean, he's just an everyday kid to me, but he is the most loving kid you'll ever meet. And he is so intelligent, but maybe that's because of my background that I, I am able to see all of that good in him. Maybe it's because he makes you want to see the good in him, but Anyway, here I go off on a, you know, uh, a rant again. But anyway, as you can see, I love children. I love family in, in, that's just how I am. I love every, everyone I come in contact with that I create a bond with. I want to help them and I want them to have the best life they can have. And that is another reason why I want to reach out. I want to reach out to everyone I can and try, just try to put a little bit of happiness, a little bit, you know, just a little bit in your life. It just, if I can. So, um, lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I get, um, anyway, so, um, that's pretty much it about me. Um, I am, uh, I know I don't, I, I said I did daycare, but I don't anymore. Um, and I, I, but it's all in my head still. So if you have any questions, even if you are someone that's thinking about getting into doing home daycare, or maybe you just started and you need a little bit of advice, comment on my video and, um, I can send you, or, you know, um, we can find a way to contact each other and I can give you some advice or I can put it in a video and I don't even, I don't even have to use your name. Um, I can just say, Hey, for those who want some advice with this. So no biggie. Um, I'm not going to single anybody out because that's not my thing anyway. So, um, it was a pleasure getting to introduce myself to everyone out there. And I hope that I can be successful with this vlog. Like I said, if it even if it just helps one person or if I have just a few people that watch my videos and you don't think it's for you, but you want to continue watching and seeing if I have a, a topic that may pertain to you, great. But this really is just for me to try to get myself out there and, and get my, my stories out. So anyway, um, I hope you all have a great day. Um, God bless everyone and um, enjoy your life.